you. Thanks for coming, Wayne. Thank you. Uh, I got a lot of family here. What's that? Got a lot of family. And you had fans everywhere. <laughs> you know what? I just. I, you're... Go <laughs> New York. They're not Rangers fans. We have a Let's Go Rangers sign that lights up, right? It's next to the applause sign. We never get to use it. You know what? Your nickname, The Great One. I mean, that's got to be a difficult nickname to have. It puts so much pressure on you. Well, I guess I'm used to it now. I've had it since I was 10 years old. Since you were 10? Yeah. So but everybody just, you know, will that be ranch dressing or salad? Oh, great one. <laughs> I guess I'll have the ranch. What a great choice. Yeah. No, that, uh, <clears throat> amongst my friends and teammates, uh, obviously, like anyone else, my nickname is the uh, same as anyone else's would be with their name, Gretz or Wayne or anything like that. But I got a little, uh, little nervous when my kids asked me about it one time. How did I get my nickname and why do they call me that? Why do they and, call you the great yeah. one? Yeah. But uh, I, I like to be called Wayne. It's more, uh, more relaxing for me. Well, also, most of us have, you know, when we have a nickname, it's derogatory. <laughs> you know, it's like, hey, Carrot Top or... <laughs> Hey, fathead, you know, <laughs> pale skin. I got a lot of bad games. Creepy. That's not me, of course. <laughs> well, I've, I've had a Some... few bad games in my career. I've been called a lot worse than the great ones. So. Yeah. Well, uh, you know, I don't know if you remember. This is exciting, probably, for you to be working with me again. Really? <laughs> don't you remember? Hockey? Did I play hockey? <laughs> no, I didn't play hockey. We, I was a seminal part of your early uh, performing career. You did Saturday Night Live, oh, I think, in 1989. My goodness. And we were, we were in a sketch together. I was a writer then. <laughs> Let's show the clip, and you'll see I'm in there. Let's roll this, please, Liz. And, uh... Sit down, everybody. <laughs> oh, no. Get your money's worth. Come on, boys. Let's go. Don't you remember that? No memory? <laughs> I gotta tell you. I'll never I... forget, during that sketch, you winked at me and whispered, <laughs> live on air, someday you'll have a talk show and I'll come on it. <laughs> I, uh, I didn't realize that, but I got to tell you, I didn't, uh, it was one of the greatest shows of my life, being on Saturday Night Live. And I turned it down originally when Lauren Michaels asked me to do the show. Mm -hmm. He said, Wayne, we host the show. And I said, no, there's no way. I was at the Kentucky Derby. I'm in this airplane reading the paper, and it says, Wayne Gretzky to host Saturday Night Live. And I said, I, I said no to all this. But, uh, <laughs> That's how they my, broke most of the people yeah. on that show. I, only because of fear I didn't want to do it. Uh -huh. And uh, my wife had said to me, one day you look back and think it was the greatest thing you ever did. And it was a great show. Yeah, you were, I, it was I funny. so much fun doing it. And, of course, the, as you know, all the guys in the show and uh, Mike Myers and everyone, it was a lot of fun. It I was had a great, great show. Great thrill. Uh, I was looking through all your list of accomplishments, the different championships you've won, all the different trophies, and the list goes on and on and on. The one that intrigued me the most is you have won five Lady Bing trophies. Mm -hmm. And the Lady Bing trophy is for... Gentlemanly player. Gentlemanly behavior on the ice. Yeah, yes. is, that, is that an award that people want to win? I mean, people applaud it, but... Is that an award, though, that there are some people that would, you know, some guys in the ice that, that, who think that, no, the game should be about putting a stick in someone's face. It should be about getting a scar. You know what I mean? And they would say, oh, I don't want the Lady Bing trophy. I, I want most well, yeah. jaws knocked loose from skull. <laughs> I don't know if anybody would go that far, but there's guys that don't want to win that award. There's guys that play hard and tough and physical that probably would never get their name on the award and probably never want it on the award. Now, how did you manage to play? How many years total have you played? This is my 21st. 21st year. Yeah. How did you manage to play all those years? And you've got all your teeth. No, that's you not look true. great. What? I have all my teeth. Are those fake. are all fake? Yeah. When I was 10 years old, I grew up and uh, I had braces on. And my parents didn't make a lot of money and cost a lot of money to get braces on. I got them off. off. Two weeks later, I got a stick in the mouth and lost five teeth. And uh, to this day, they're caps. But uh, since I've been a pro, I haven't had any broken. But you don't have the scar. I mean, some of these guys have, you know, yeah. deep scars and everything like that. You, well, no problems. Fear. <laughs> really? Some people, yeah, I get out of the way as fast as I can. But, uh, some of the guys are, you know, some of the guys are beat up pretty badly. There's no question about it. I mean, it's a physical game, uh, but you know what? It's a great game. I, yeah. I love it. Some guys literally look like they've been playing, you know, especially goalies or something. They look like old prospectors. Yeah. After they'll be in their they'll be in their mid twenties, but no teeth. Sort of like yeah. there's gold in them. There. Here's your teeth. <laughs> some of them, shocked. Yeah, some of them are uh, pretty beat up. But. What? Uh, when do you think you would retire? Do you have any idea? 
Not really. I love it too much. I, I'm fortunate. I think it's the greatest game in the world, mm -hmm. and uh, I'm lucky to be in this game. Um, what would you do after you retired? Do you even know what you want to do? Well, I love your show, and I love what Andy does. Can I be Andy's assistant? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's up to Andy. I don't, I don't know what I'm going to do. Uh, that would be great, Andy, if you had a guy that sit, sits next to you. <laughs> sure. And then when you're there long enough, there'll be someone who sits next to you. <laughs> and eventually, if the show is on for like 50 years, we'll have this couch that just snakes along. I can coach good. Yeah, that'd be great. Yeah. Andy, what know. kind of things are you going to make him do? Uh, uh, I'll probably just take a lot more time off. <laughs> I can just start leaving here, yeah. Can you do a three-guy yeah. stare? Yeah, yeah three-way three, three, three -way staring contest yeah. would be fun. Um, are you following this, uh, this basketball lockout is having yeah. an interesting effect on hockey because there's no basketball. It's putting a lot more attention on hockey. Yeah, it is. But people are saying it's a really good thing for hockey. Well, it's a great thing for hockey. We're getting more exposure, and I think they're getting, people are getting a chance to meet some of the players who haven't had a chance to get as much exposure as other athletes in other sports. But, you know, eventually basketball will get back. It's a great sport, and obviously the guys like Jordan, it's pretty solid. Mm -hmm. But uh, right now is a good chance for the NHL to take advantage of it, and uh, I think they are. We, we have good people that run our league. It would be I weird said, if there was a, after the, while the basketball lockout was going on, there was also a hockey lockout because curling would become the number one sport. <laughs> Every big in Canada. It's really big? Very big in Canada. I don't understand how it works. I mean, not that I want a long in-depth, but there is well, a sport I, there, right? Yeah, it's very big in Canada. Very popular in Canada, by the way. And, um, well, ne next time I come back to the show, I'll tell you It's about. hard for a sport to become cool that involves sweeping very quickly, you know? <laughs> You can win a lady bing in that. <laughs> no Congratulations. Uh, you, uh, I know you started playing really early. Your, your son, is this right? You started teaching your son to skate at what age? Well, that's not necessarily true. I didn't teach him because I, I, I'm scared to kind of show people that I'm pushing him. But right. at the age of one, he, he brought me a pair of skates and wanted to skate. So uh, I took him uh, inline skating, rollerblading in California. We have pictures of him skating down the beach in Santa Monica in a diaper with a bottle. So, you know, Get out of skating. my way, goo goo, you know. He's, yeah. he's, one. he's a better uh -huh. skater than I am, and uh, he, he's, he's good. He plays here in the city. They have a great hockey program here. My two boys, Ty and Trevor, they play here, and they love it. Play with your cousin's boy. Oh, yeah? Dennis. Which one? Oh, yeah, Dennis, yeah. yeah he's down there quite a bit. Dennis Leary going around calling people my, he's, he's my cousin. <laughs> I'm still looking for proof of that. And I want to share financially and any success he has. That uh, sounds good. Yeah, yeah, I, I can imagine. Well, they take it seriously, yeah. too. Um, listen, thank you so much for coming. It was very right. nice of you. Love uh, your show. Nice of you to be here. Come on back sometime. Right, Did you do that? To. Thank All you right, very thanks much. for being here, Wayne. Right. Wayne Gretzky, everybody. Dame Judy Dent's coming up. Terrific show. Welcome back.